Hi there and welcome back to another lesson for the flamenco guitar. I'm Ben Stubbs, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a scale in E minor that you cannot live without as a flamenco guitarist. So, without further waiting, let's get started. Mauno. Oh yeah, and one quick thing. Before we start the lesson, right now I'm working on a course for the flamenco guitar. And it's designed for players at all skill levels, from the ground up. So if you're having trouble finding out how to buy a flamenco guitar, where to get one for a reasonable price, how to string it up, how to shape your nails, how to figure out what is flamenco, what's not flamenco, what are the compases, what are the palos, what, is, what do those words mean? Anyway, I want to cover all this for you. But in order to make it the best program for you, for the best value, I need to hear directly from you. So in the description, or one of these uh, cards above here, I think, you can click on that and book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Just we'll hop on a Zoom call and I can hear everything that's holding you back on the flamenco guitar essentially. So don't forget to click on that link and let's get started right now. All right, so let's get started with our scale. It's an E minor. I love this one. I call it Escala de Gerardo because I've always heard that it's been attributed to Gerardo Nunez. However, that might not be the case. I've also heard that it was Andres Batista that developed this scale. Nonetheless, I love it. But if you know for a fact who wrote it, let me know in the comments below. The scale is very beneficial for the fretting fingers, but it's also super beneficial for the playing fingers. And here's why. Your index finger is going to alternate and your middle finger is going to kind of stay put. Here's what I mean. The middle finger is going to be on the B string. Okay, That's its home base. And every time you hit that, it's going to be a free stroke. Tirado. The first note that you hit is the I finger on the E string, and that's going to be apoyado, resting. And then the third note is tirado also, index, striking the G string. Let me give you another angle here. Here's the right hand pattern. The I finger is resting. M fingers free, I fingers free, M fingers free. And the final note here is resting with the I. And then next is... There we go. Okay, let me show you that again. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Try it with me, a little bit slower. One, two, three, four. One, So at these notes, we're actually going to play G, G flat, and E. So, what was that again? E, E, G, G flat, E. So that's the first bar. Then we go on to our chord shapes. The next one is second finger here on the second fret of the E string, fourth finger here on the fourth fret of the B string, and the third finger is on the fourth fret of the G string. Everything that I showed you with the right hand stays the same. The only thing that's changing is what we're doing with the fretting fingers. So let's start again from our E minor. Here's our new shape. Now, fifth fret for A, G, G flat, and then we come up to the third fret, 5th fret and 5th fret here. Same shape. See, I'm just moving it up half a step. Once again, let's start from E minor. And now this time from B, A, G. Now take that same shape, move it up a whole step. So now we're here on the 5th fret, 7th and 7th fret. So 1st finger on the 5th fret of the E string, 4th finger on the 7th fret of the B string, 3rd finger on the 7th fret of the G string. And remember, everything that I showed you on the right hand is exactly the same. No tricks here. Now we're at A and then C, B, A. We're 
and fret numbers. 875. Okay? And remember, you can get all these tabs over at patreon.com forward slash flamenco for you. Moving on up. New chord shape here is diagonal one, which is E minor. So that's first finger on seven, eight, and nine are the first, second, and third strings respectively. And then, what was that? That was 10, eight, seven. And then move up half a step so that your first finger is on the eighth fret. Now we're going to have like a D minor shape. The chord is A minor, but it's like a D minor shape. Down here, just take it all the way up so that your first finger is on the eighth fret, right? So holding that chord, the D minor shape chord, which is A minor. So maintaining your right hand playing positions. So that was 12, 10, 8. And then, returning back to our traditional shape here with our first finger on the 10th fret, third finger on the 12th here on the G string, fourth finger on the 12th fret of the B string. Okay, And then 13, 12, 10. Okay. Then we're going to come back down. Remember what the last one was? Uh, a whole step down with a D minor shape for A minor. And then next, half a step down, if you remember that one, was the diagonal one for E minor. Next one, our traditional shape that we used down here and up here. This is fifth fret. Down, down to the third fret. Reaching up here, whole step. And then 2nd fret, 8, G, G flat. Now comes our Aeolian scale, which is open, D, C, B, A, G, F sharp, and then E. And then we continue on down, but let's review that. those notes E G flat E G flat E now we've got our final chord here which is like the James Bond chord it's E minor major 7 9 so that means that our first finger is on the seventh fret of the B string and then we do a diagonal shape here second finger on 8 third finger on 9 fourth finger on 10 so let's do that Aeolian run on again E, A, G, F sharp, C, B, back up again, you notice I hit that E right before I do my arpeggio, and that arpeggio is done by doing thumb, index, middle, A, again. you do it quickly what you're doing is you're placing all those fingers on the strings peeling off like this leading with P P I M A and it's even nicer having that lingering E that you just played right before it so as you make your way up here to your chord the E minor up here make sure play that bass note and then a nice smooth ending, James Bond style. Okay, so let's give it a run through at 100 beats per minute. Here we go. Three, four.
Okay, so let's give it a try at 120 beats per minute, a little bit faster. Here we go. Three, four. Here's a quick little tip I wanted to make note of. Notice that when you place down your fretting fingers, I want you to try, rather than just placing them down all at once, I want you to try and place them one at a time. For instance, first finger, fourth finger, third finger, like that. Does that make sense? So instead of just pumping them all together, try to do them individually to build up coordination. All right, 150, here we go, three, four. Okay, so our final playing speed at 200 beats per minute. Let's give it a try. Here we go. Three, four. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget that you can get all these tabs, backing tracks, and more over at patreon.com forward slash flamenco for you. A special thanks to our supporters there who make this possible. And don't forget to book your call with me one-on-one -on -one so we can talk and I can get your input for my new flamenco guitar course coming up soon. Until next time, take care.